This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Toyota. Quad cores sound pretty amazing for mobile devices, right? Well, NVIDIA up the ante here at CES 2014 with the Tegra K1 with 192 CUDA cores of goodness stuffed inside of a tablet. Welcome to Techzilla Bytes. I'm Patrick Norton. This is CES 2014, and NVIDIA's demo here started out in kind of the classic NVIDIA way. First, there was a little bit of game stream. Enjoy the wonderful graphics on any display you like, like the Shield streaming to a 4K television, 1080p, 60 hertz from a computer in the office in another part of the house. Okay, that's a nice demo. G-Sync came up. We're going to eliminate Judder. We're going to speed things up if you've got a compatible monitor. Well, we knew about G-Sync, and then all of a sudden, quote, the next step, a giant leap for Android. Who knew? It's the Tegra K1, the world's first mobile super chip, super computing for mobile. 192 cores. That's actually pretty badass. 192 CUDA cores, all fully programmable, massively parallel. NVIDIA was really big that this was the first mobile CPU to really take a vast jump from previous generations. As if the idea of a mobile part with 192 CUDA cores inside of it wasn't enough, the big NVIDIA announcement was the Unreal Engine 4 was going to be available on the Tegra K1. Quote, we can take absolutely anything we'll run on consoles or desktops on this. That's a pretty major endorsement from a pretty serious gaming company, especially when you realize it took like eight years to get the Unreal Engine 3 onto an iPad from the original launch of the Unreal Engine 3. We're talking about like two years for the Unreal Engine 4 to show up on mobile devices. That's pretty amazing. You know what else is pretty amazing? The graphics demos they were showing. Real-time sim of a human face, AKA Ira from the USC Institute for Creative technologies, incredible lighting, basically just, I mean, it's stunning. Um, take a look at the ray tracing of the eyes. The idea is you're going to have incredible lighting and it's going to be incredibly real time. And the thing we heard over and over again in this series of demos was all the faceting is gone. And then they took us into a subway, which was actually the Unreal Engine 4 running on the K1. This is freaking gorgeous. Next gen graphics, like more power than an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 in a portable device. Supposed to ship in the second half of 2014. Pricing not available, specs not available, power consumption not available, but it's pretty slick. A quad core A15 32 bit three way super scalar device and a second Tegra K1 will be available with a dual core ARM V8 64 bit seven way super scalar dual Denver CPUs. Denver is something that NVIDIA has been working on for a really long time. It's essentially a custom version of the ARM V8 processor. This whole chip, the Tegra K1, apparently has been in development for the better part of five and a half years. This is going to be really interesting to watch as we close in towards Christmas if we're going to have really console or PC desktop level gaming available on a mobile device. And i got to say, I wonder what it's going to cost. We'll find out later this year. Well, and we'll find out a lot of things later this year. That's the classic thing about CES. We see all the shiny and then we find out if it ships. It's exciting, people. You know what else is exciting? More CES 2014 coverage. You can find all our coverage at techzilla.com or youtube.com slash techzilla. I want to take a moment to thank our friends at Toyota for sponsoring our CES 2014 coverage. I'm Patrick Norton, and we're going to head out and look for some more cool stuff from CES 2014.